Welcome to Afternoons on 11. I'm Shirley Washington and for April Simpson. Today we're talking about the Battle of the Bulge. Believe me when I tell you, you can win. Just ask Edgar Hernandez. It's been a rough ride for Edgar Hernandez. His battle with the Bulge began at a young age. I was a bullied kid throughout high school. And, well, going back from elementary school and intermediate school, too. You know, I was called fat, fat ass, lard ass, tubby, etc. And that stuff really hurts. It really does. They can really make you feel worthless and not necessary. Weighing in at about 345 at his heaviest, Hernandez felt intense pressure, especially from his peers. He decided to take matters into his own hands. It definitely took me a while to quit crying and complaining and feeling sorry for myself about what I found out. I just sort of realized that I had to do something about it. I couldn't keep complaining about something that obviously I had control over. Now a senior at Collinsville High School, Hernandez lost 150 pounds and has a new outlook on life. Please welcome Edgar Hernandez to the show. Awesome. <laughs> Edgar, may I just tell you right off the bat that I am so inspired by you. Thank you so and, much. And what you, it's, just, it's just an amazing story. Now, when I was listening to your story on YouTube, I was so touched by some of the comments that you made, particularly when you talked about how you were bullied when you were in school. That had to be tough. What was that like for you? It was devastating, like, especially when I'd go home from school. It was the worst. You know, I'd cry myself to sleep sometimes. I wouldn't even go out. I would just go home, eat, and sleep. It was, it was devastating, you know. I couldn't, even when I'd sleep, I'd see the faces of the kids that always made fun of me. It was devastating. And what were they saying? They were calling me lard ass. They were calling me tubby. And they would just say these horrible things like, oh, like they would tell me to do the truffle shuffle off this movie, The Goonies and stuff. And it was, it, was, it, hurt, it hurt really bad. Sure. That, stuff like that just made me feel worthless. But you know what was amazing about that? You turned it all around. Yeah. And you decided to do something about it. Definitely. So, so what was that moment when you felt, you felt like, I've got to do something here? <clears throat> that, it was, the moment was whenever I would just, it just came into me. I, I, don't, I don't, like the moment, uh, it's hard to explain, like, I don't know, I just got tired of it. I was tired of it. I just wanted to prove them wrong. I wanted to prove to them that I could lose weight and I wouldn't be fat forever. And I mean, look at me now. I'm, I'm here and I'm, I did it. Yes, you did. You deserve a big round of applause for that. So tell me, how did you do it? Because 150 pounds in one year, that's huge. Definitely. And honestly, there's only two things you really need to focus on, diet and exercise. I promise you, you follow those two steps, you will lose weight like crazy. Diet and exercise, and then may I also add perhaps a change of mindset? Did that come into play? For oh, you? yeah, most definitely. You know, your whole, my attitude all had to change. I had to keep telling myself, you know, you can do it. You know, stay positive. You know, any, any bit of negative energy that came in there, and you, it would slow you down. You, you don't want any of that stuff, because then it'll just, it'll just tell you that, oh, you can't do this, and then you just give up. So w were there points along the way when you felt like, I can't do this? Definitely. And you had to talk to yourself. What, what did you do to get over that hurdle? It was definitely within the first two months uh, that I started eating right and exercising. Um, <clears throat> it was really hard because my body just wasn't used to all that. My body was so used to just being lazy, eating junk food, having a low self-esteem. It was hard. Uh, what I did to get over those negative thoughts, I just kept telling myself of how badly the people that made fun of me would love to see me fail the next day if I quit. So that definitely kept me going, you know. What were you eating? I was eating fast food every day. I used to eat fast food every day. I used to drink soda. I used to eat chips. I used to eat a bag of Doritos every day after school. It was terrible. Yeah. And then when you started your diet and your exercise routine, what were you eating then? I started eating more vegetables than anything. You know, fall, I just kind of realized the main thing. Oh, if I eat more vegetables, maybe I'll lose a lot of weight. Then I started adding more foods. Like, I started eating a lot more lean meat, like chicken, deer meat, turkey. Um, I started eating a lot of whole grain foods. 
started eating no fruit, drinking nothing but water, almond milk, or like natural natural food that's good for you, not like processing and all that stuff. Right, and then I'm sure you are continuing to stay on your diet now and then also exercising? Yes, most definitely. You know, I can never really go back to that lifestyle. It just kind of haunts me. Yeah. I'm, uh, every day, you know, I'm, every day I'm always exercising, doing some bit of exercise just to stay in shape. I like to do exercise. I like to stay fit now. And how do you feel? I feel amazing. I feel like a new person. I feel like I don't even know the old Edgar. Oh, awesome. I love that. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. No, thank you for giving me the opportunity <laughs> to be here. Oh, you have such a great story. All right. So, guess what? When we come back, we want to hear from you. So please place your messages on our Facebook page on KPLR Facebook. And then you will be hearing from Charles D'Angelo, big time weight loss guru. Believe me when I tell you, this guy will help you change your life. And you know what? He even lost 150 pounds. I had no social relationships. I had very little confidence. I had no energy. And I realized if I wasn't going to take charge of my health, I may not even live to see my high school graduation. Charles D'Angelo is up next. His dramatic story. Stay with us. We are back in a moment. <laughs>